guys, we're here with another boutique cigar review. This time it is again from Bucanero Cigars. Uh, he sent me this as well. This is his Classico Maduro. And uh, I think this is actually the cigar that was dubbed the first double Maduro um, in the world, or at least in the United States, I'm not exactly sure. So that's pretty unique for uh, any cigar company. Um, this is, I believe, the Gigante. Uh, Gigante, maybe? I think it's 7 by 54, so it's quite large. Um, definitely it feels bigger than a, than a, a Churchill in girth. But uh, it's slightly spongy. It smells like a sweet hay and almost like a, like a sweet soapy aroma almost. It's kind of a mix between hay and that. And yeah, so let's light this thing up and I'll give you guys a review. Oh, right, the first draw is um, pretty pretty mild, just a sweet tobacco kind of flavor. It almost has like a tingly, uh, almost like a floral, soapy kind of after note. Kind of like the smell of the cigar, but it's nothing harsh. It's just um, it's just different. Uh, definitely um, definitely going to be a creamy one, I think, because I can already detect a little bit of cream. Plenty of smoke output. The draw is perfect for me. Just a slight bit of resistance. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, I'm back again with the Bucanero Classico Maduro. Um, so far, not much has changed. I'd say the flavors are kind of chewy in nature, uh, creamy, of course. The finish is quite short, but uh, yeah, not much to say. It's just a nice, uh, well-rounded Maduro cigar. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, I am back again. As you can see, the burn difference is pretty bad, so I'm going to have to fix that. The flavors are pretty much the same. I would just say um, take it easy on this one because you can get really uh, nasty flavors if you get it anywhere close to being anywhere hot. Um, so just be careful, it can get a little bit tarry, a little bit bitter on you. But other than that, it's probably mild to medium. And uh, yeah, I'll fix this and I'll catch you guys soon. Back again, as you can see, I'm still having some burn issues. Flavors so far are getting it's getting a little bit tingly, uh, a little bit spicier almost, a little creamier. Uh, you still gotta be careful because you do get some kind of tar buildup at times, so just be careful with that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys soon near the band point. Alright, I'm back again near the band point here. Um, you know, this cigar comes in waves. It's either really good or really bad, I feel like. It's kind of it's weird. I had to crack the burn a few times. It looks good now. But right now I'm getting some nice milk chocolate. Um, some nice uh, earth. A little bit of a, like an oily sweetness in the finish. It's still mild to medium bodied. Um, just a nice Maduro flavor right now. But earlier it was getting a little bit bitter. Um, so right now I'd say this is like the best part of the cigar. I'm really surprised by it now. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys with the final rating. Alright, last video here of the Bucanero Classico Maduro. Um, I'm probably going to end it here. It's getting a little bit mushy. But uh, yeah, overall I'd say it's a good cigar. We had some burn issues. Uh, it had some bitterness at times, so that, so that wasn't as pleasant. The last third here really was great. Um, so overall, I'm going to have to rate this maybe like an 8.6 because um, I did have to keep maintaining the burn. Um, but definitely check these out at BucaneroCigars.com. Thanks again, Robert, for sending these in.